Hello and welcome back to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life. Now if you followed with me last week, you will see I painted this wonderful little seascape. There you go. Um, because I was, I just wanted to go to the beach. So I thought, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do another one. And why not? So if that's what you're interested in today, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment. Um, without further ado, let's have a quick look at the palette because it's quite messy. And let's see what we can come up with. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Okay, as you can see, that's a complete and utter mess. Why? Because I've just painted that painting, like I've just said, and I thought I'm going to get straight on to another one while I've got the inspiration going. So I apologise for the mess, but all I've added is some um, two types of green there. I've got a very light green, which I mixed up with a titanium white and some hookers green, and then the rest of the palette remains the same as last week. I've got some Prussian blue, ultramarine blue, a little bit of Naples yellow, some white, some burnt umber and some Mars black and there you go and my brushes are still even in the water there wet so I thought I got this idea of, of doing another type of seascapes but I, but I thought we'd go if you remember the headlands that I painted um, where's it to? <laughs> if you remember the headlands that I painted there you go it's better if I put it upside down so what we're going to do we're going to venture over there today we're going to venture over there and we're going to find a scene over there in our imaginations to paint so painting a painting from a painting and I think it's fantastic. So I thought we'd have a, a rock face today. I thought we'd have some sort of a rock face today like this coming down there and this is going to be very similar to somewhere that, that is in, in possibly in England. Possibly in England. I think it is in England actually. It's called the White Cliffs of Dover and I thought we'd do something just like that. And I've got something similar around where I live. I really have. So we're going to put out a horizon line there and we might even put something in there, some bit of a sea, bit of a beach, some rocks down here maybe. We don't know. We don't know. I'm making this up as I go along now. Okay, so brush, 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 brush. Again, I'm just going to some ultramarine blue and some white. Ultramarine blue and white and we're going to put an ultramarine blue and white sky in today. So a little bit more ultramarine blue in the top. So I want that quite nice and rich and dark colour. This, this is a nice summery type of scene that we're doing today. Um, I'm thinking of spring, I'm thinking of summer, I'm thinking of the warmth that that time of year can bring us. And um, it's just a really nice time. We can get out and, and the, the days are longer, the, the mornings are lighter. And it's just wonderful to, to get out and about and uh, at the moment we, we're all, st well, at the moment in Wales we're stuck indoors because of this lockdown, so yeah, it's a little bit like Groundhog Day. But like Groundhog Day, if you use the time well, and if you use the time well, and invest time into a, a, a new project or a new, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Um, a new skill then. If you're looking for a new skill, practice, 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 practice. Little bits of canvas, little bits of cardboard, backs of cereal packets. You don't need to spend a lot of money. You just need a little bit of paint, a little bit of paint, and you'll be able to create little tiny artworks. Maybe, maybe some family members would really like those bits of artwork. So a bit of Prussian blue and a, and a bit of ultramarine blue. And we'll just draw a rough horizon line. You take your time because you might be able to draw an horizon line straighter than me. Not my best things, drawing straight lines. I can do mean circles, but I'm not very good at straight lines. <laughs> so let's just put a bit of colour in this water. There we go, a bit of ultramarine blue, a bit of bird, uh, a Prussian blue, just to get some darkness in this sea there like that and as we come forward we come a bit lighter as we come forward we come a little bit lighter like that there you go you can add a little bit of burnt umber into it if you wanted to just to change the color of the water because around with us 
it tends to be a bit dirty color. It doesn't tend to be blue. It's blue. The, the, the sea is not, or the ocean is not always blue. Don't forget, you can have green type, Mediterranean type looking seascapes. You can have dirty looking seascapes. You, you decide what your seascape is going to look like. I've decided today I'm just going to put a little bit of dirtiness to the water. Just makes it look a little bit more realistic and there you are. We come back to that in just one second. So cleaning my brush. I'm using the same brush. I'm going to get some Naples yellow. If you want to get any Naples yellow, um, add a little bit of um, white to some um, mid yellow and try adding a, a smallest amount and I mean a tiny tiny minute amount of red and white and you'll, you'll get to a point where you'll get this like creamy type of yellow. Um, this Naples yellow is quite a nice colour for sands and things like that and this is what I'm trying to, got to try and do now is create some sand coming from this as a beach there we are a bit of burnt umber don't want too much burnt umber just put some shadow in That's way, 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 way down there. Way, way down there, that is. Way, way down there. I'm just trying to build some layers. I'm just trying to get some few marks in there. We just let that dry, I think, for the moment. Now, um, I think what I'm going to have to do, I didn't want to, but I'm going to have to put a hairdryer on that. Reason being is I want to put some white cliffs in because we can't have the white cliffs at Dover, but that's because that's what it is now. We can't have the white cliffs at Dover without having white cliffs. So let's just put some a little bit of blue and white, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white. I'll we'll just block that in like that. That's called blocking in because all we're doing is just painting a block of colour. These terms that people use in painting, quite simple really, once you know what they mean, like everything else really. So learn a new skill. If you don't do anything else during lockdown, learn a new skill. Once you've learned to paint, it's a bit like cooking, once you've learned to paint you, you'll know how to, to feed yourself. So once you learn to paint, once you learn to cook I mean, you know how to feed yourself and feed your family. Which is obvious. But once you learn to paint, you know how to feed your brain and get your inspiration. And get those days where you were feeling really low and and anxiety or stress or depression has got its better of you. And I think it's important that learning to to learn a new skill like painting and things is, is going to help you a lot. And I was in the studio yesterday, in actual fact, and I was had a quite a bad day. I did two paintings for YouTube, and neither of them turned out really well. And uh, I ended up um, throwing them in the bin and having a really bad day from it. So don't think that we can all just sit here sometimes and do these these wonderful just paintings and and, and everything goes well all the time because it doesn't. And if, if I said to you it goes well 100% of the time and I'm happy with everything I do, I'll be lying to you. And I don't lie. I'm honest as much as I can be. So I'm just putting some hooker's green in place now. All I want to do in my videos is basically bring people joy and happiness and try and get them to distress that everyday life that we find ourselves confronted with. Now blue and green go really well together and that's a great reason why I thought I would do some cliffs today as well because it also shows contrast. I'll just 
hängt da denn? Das ist ein Art. Wow. Now we can already got it looking right. So we've got to dry that off with a hairdryer. We've got a couple of spots there that are a little bit wet. I'm not worried too much about that because I'm going to draw my attention now. Um, and there's no pencils involved. I'm going to draw my attention now to the sky. Now, like I said in um, previous lessons, that the sky, the clouds in these type of paintings are so far away, and you you don't need to paint, you don't need to paint clouds like balls of cotton wool. All you need to do is just get a small amount of paint onto a brush. And I personally like starting up there. Now you don't have to put any clouds in this at all. Some days you'll find that there are no clouds in the sky. But for the sake of this painting and demonstration that I'm doing, all I'm doing is just pulling in a few fluffy cloud formations. And all I'm doing is just scarking the brush across the canvas like this. And that's all it takes. We don't need to stress about clouds because there's no actual form to clouds. They, they're just free individual wispy bits of condensation in the air. That's all they are. And you get down there. As the closer you get, as I've said before, and I never repeat myself a lot sometimes, and I picked up a bit of green there. <laughs> you know what we say, I can repeat myself a lot sometimes because it's important that we do that. The closer you get to the horizon, the smaller these clouds become. I'll put a few breakers in where we are. There. there we are. See? Just dragging the brush across the side like that. Now let that little bit of green dry. I know there's a block of green there because I put it in there with my brush. I'm not going to worry about that. What I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is let that dry. So I want to concentrate on maybe a few breakers coming in now. So I'm going to I'm going to drag the brush on an angle like this. I'll show you. Because the sea is coming in this way. And it's a choppy sea today. There we are. Again, far and distant. Far and distant is going to be. I need a bit more paint on my brush. Very small up over there. Like that. Tiny, 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 slightly bigger. Getting bigger, getting bigger. There you go. Like that. See? You don't need to do a lot of work. It doesn't involve a lot of work. It's an art of illusion, is painting. Once you get to understand that, then you can paint more than you can imagine. A lot of my, my my subscribers are just beginning. I got a lot of subscribers that are really experienced. And I've got a lot of subscribers that are experienced and said, well, I didn't even know that, Clive. I don't want to paint and show you how good I am. I want you to paint and show yourself how good you can be. And I want you to have people turn around and say, wow, Wow, that's absolutely brilliant. Wow, well, I didn't know you could do that. And you could think to yourself, well, I didn't know I could do it myself, but I know I can. There you go. And you know you can. Get a little bit of Naples yellow now. I'm just going to lighten up. Parts of this speech. Like that. Getting 
get little bits of burnt umber and I'm gonna a little bit of burnt umber sometimes I forget to clean my brushes quite a dirty painter really I mean, actually fuck we could put some burnt umber very very dry brushed into the rock face coming like that, see? It just adds a bit of shadow. Adds a bit of shadow then. Adds a bit of shadow. Get some white and we could put some rocks down there. Obviously the cliff is been eroded over the years and it's going to drop all these little tiny bits of rock onto the, onto the sea, onto the uh, beach, sorry, and it is, it is going to be there. There's going to be bits of rock and things. And you can just loosen that up. Your finger like that. There you go. Let's get it a bit more trimming blue now. A little, little ultramarine blue just to put some. And this is very thin paint. You should never use your finger on a canvas. That's what they say, but if it works, it works. It doesn't matter, does it? And what I suggest you do, if you, if you do use, or you touch your, your surface you're painting like this, it can cause grease spots, and it can stop the, it can stop the, um, the paint from adhering. So what I suggest you do is get a little bit of varnish maybe later on, or put a very thin coat of paint over and I could stop that happening you must seal all these layers in place and this is what you need to do I'm just going to put a few more brighter highlights now coming in Look at his little waves just breaking. Whoosh. Whoosh. You make it up as you go along. Highlights here and there. Little bits of paint just. That's all you need to do. Details. Tiny little details will make a difference. Now before we do anything else I'm going to get a short flat. I'm going to get a little bit of black into the green. I want to make it quite dark. And what I want to do now is just put some darker spots up there. This is just going to be grass this is where people come and they have the picnics and they lay the, the picnic blanket down. Wow, I tell you, what a lovely place to have a picnic in the summer. What a lovely place to have a picnic. There's a bit of sun coming through, catching on the, the grass to lighten it up. Get a little bit of that darker green again and just go along the edge there. A bit of green, a bit of green and black. You 
could go to the trouble of painting somebody sitting there on the picnic if you wanted to. It's your world. You do what you want to do. You create the atmosphere that you want to create. And as you become slightly more towards the front, we just want to go a little bit darker just to give it that bit of a depth. You can actually push your brush in like this. Just to give a little bit of a texture. Because it's not going to be long grass, but I think if we put a little bit of light in like this, It'll look like there's some grass there, which is just catching the light, maybe. You see what I mean? And if you've got a lighter area, just put a little bit of dark on there. Like that. Don't want a lot of paint. Just a smidgen of paint. some white now because this is these are white cliffs as we said these are white cliffs so what we need to do now is just define some whiteness to these these are chalk these this, these these cliffs actually are made of calcium carbonate and that's where all the calcium carbonate comes from really but most of it anyway I think the research I've done over the years is it, a lot of it comes from um, White Cliffs of Dover. And it's processed and this is what we use for gesso. <laughs> so we got the White Cliffs. In this case of Dover now. Put a bit of green down there, didn't I? Again, look. Put paint on a bit thicker, yeah? If you want to. Just like that. Just like that. Get a bit of dark green. Just put a bit of shadow. Just simple painting. Really no effort. Really no effort at all. And it's good. Let's do these clouds. Look, we got this green cloud there. There you go. We can have a little sailing boat in the background there. <laughs> We could get um, oh, 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 a little scrappy lining brush, and as you know, I know you—you you know what exactly what I'm going to do now. I'm sure you do, because you know me. You know me. I like that little butterfly. Seagulls in like that. Spot of white. Spot of white. There we go. Maybe just a few little tiny seagulls down there. And there you are, it's another simple relaxing painting done today so don't forget to click the subscribe button give me a thumbs up send me a comment if you want to watch this one it's in the icards 
So I think I'm really relaxed today now, so I'm going to call it a day. Thank you very much for joining me in the studio. I hope I've given you some sort of inspiration. So until next time, bye-bye. And don't forget to click subscribe.